Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Finally got back to work on the RV project. Um, spent uh, quite a while not doing anything on it. We raced RC trucks on the dirt track the first time this year, last uh, Saturday. That was a lot of fun. So I spent a bunch of time doing that. What I'm uh, working on now is mounting the comm antennas. I'm going to put them underneath the floorboards, uh, the passenger, rear seat passenger floorboards. Um, here's the antenna I'm using. This came from Stein. It's the Bent Whip Com Ant antenna. I designed and printed, and I think I may have a little bit of work left to do here on this uh, little alignment tool is what it is, I guess. Um, so the center hole fits nice around the uh, connector there on the antenna. The holes don't line up quite right. That's what's wrong with it. I need to move them forward. They're not symmetrical, so I'm going to make some adjustments there. I designed this and printed it in, uh, designed it in, th in Fusion 360 and printed it on the printer. So then what I can do with that is, if I can get it off of there, I'm going to put it over here and I can push it up against that, there you go, I can push it up against that uh, bulkhead, that flange, that way it squares it up. Then I can drill the holes from the inside using that template and drill the center hole and then I'll uh, probably put a um, put make a, a metal plate, a backer plate that's going to look just about like that black plastic and then I'll put nut plates on that and I'll put one or two rivets just to hold the whole thing down because this floorboard covers all that up and I won't be able to get in there real easily but I could uh, um, these holes here are where the nut plates are at that holds this uh, that bent piece there that you're gonna have a hard time seeing that's the cover that goes from here and it goes here and it goes down to that floor and the flap actuator goes through here but then I'll be able to uh, cut a big hole here, an access hole, if I need it to get in there. But my thought is that hopefully I won't need to get in there. I've never had to do anything with the antennas on the 6. But if I needed to, I could just unscrew it from the bottom if those are nut plates inside captured on that plate. And then the plate can't move because it's riveted to the skin with two rivets. And uh, then, it, the worst case scenario, what I would expect the failure to be would be the connector goes bad. It's either comes loose or was done improperly and didn't work. Then you have to get in there and put a new connector on it. So I'd be able to pull the antenna down, pull the connector with it, reach up through the small hole and grab the wire if it's completely disconnected and uh, put a new connector on it and put it back in there. But uh, that's where we're at. Um, that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. See you next time.